Hey guys, welcome to this video on how to implement the Google Maps Code Igniter library. Uh, if you haven't come to this video from my website, you can get to it at biostool.com and on there you can find information about the library. Um, you can get a download of it, view documentation and also some demonstrations on there for you to look at. Um, what I've got today is I've got a on the left a fresh install of Code Igniter. You'll see I've put the Google Maps PHP library in the libraries folder and on the right what I will do is I will refresh the browser as I make updates to the code. Um, this is a fresh install of Code Igniter so no extra controllers, no models, no nothing just standard controller and view and the library that we've downloaded. Um, so the idea of today is to show you a very simple example. If I go to the demonstration section on my website what we're going to try and achieve today is this. So it's a marker on a map and that's literally it for this episode. I uh, will do ones in the future where I'll go into more detail. Okay so going back to Code Igniter let's open the view. Again like I say this is a default installation so we will work from scratch. So to load the library first what we do is this load library. Anyone familiar with Code Igniter will recognize this syntax and the next thing we're going to do is using this Google Maps is we're going to initialize the map. That sets up variables, um, sets up the defaults for all the options that we can specify if we need to. Um, the next thing to do is to create the actual map. Now what I'm doing here is I'm assigning the return to a variable. What gets returned is two things. We have the JavaScript in a JS variable and the map in a HTML variable. And when we come to the do the view in a second, you'll probably see that in action. So again, anyone familiar with Code Igniter will know that we can pass data to our view. So our view in this case welcome message. We're going to pass the return, in this case data, into that through the second parameter. And that's our standard very basic controller that done. What I'm then going to do is flip to the view. Again, this is the default one, so I'm just going to clear out all this extra stuff that we don't need, just leaving the head and the body. And in the head, I'm just going to echo map.js. You remember before in the controller we returns the return of the function to map. We pass that into our view. And now we're using that to do the JS bit of it. And map the second bit is called HTML. So JS and HTML are just standard fixed um, name naming conventions that you'll need to stick by. Okay let's save that view and if we refresh the browser on the right now what we should get is the library. Yep, perfect. Um, it's using all the default options so it's, there's a default center, we've got a default zoom, default controls, everything like that. So that's all standard at the moment. Uh, flipping back to the controller, I'm just going to show you how to customize this map a little bit. Uh, we do this before the initialize function, and what I'm going to do in this case is set up a config array, and this config array will be passed into the initialize function, and it just overwrites any defaults that are set in the library itself. So let's start by setting the center of the map, and let's go for Adelaide, Australia. If we save that and refresh the browser, there we go, it's centered on Adelaide. And we can also set, for example, the zoom. So again, config zoom equals, let's go for 19, let's go really zoomed in. There we go. Okay, with these config options, check the documentation for the whole list because there is absolutely hundreds. Uh, we can also example sets events so one click equals let's just do an alert for now hello world again refresh the browser so when we click the map we get hello world um, anything you see in the Google Maps official API documentation you can do through the library pretty much um, so that's our map done and what I'm going to do next is add a marker. So we've initialized the map, now the map's in place. 
we then want to lay things on top of it. So in this case we're going to do marker and again similar to above we're going to set up a marker in the first place and the marker actually gets added to the map when we do this Google Maps add marker and as a parameter there I'm going to pass the marker array that we're going to prill now. So similar to above let's just set the position of the marker and again this can be a lat long coordinate or an address it really doesn't matter uh, let's go for let's go for the same as above Adelaide Australia and when we save that we'll refresh the right and we should fingers crossed get a marker there we go um, all you do to repeat markers is simply copy and paste that as many times as you want um, let's just change some of these um, locations so let's do Sydney let's do get a bit mad and go to Florida USA and let's do London UK uh, if we refresh the right what you'll see is we only still get the Adelaide one and that's because our zoom level is quite zoomed in on Adelaide uh, one pretty cool things we can do is to set that to auto and if I now refresh the browser what will happen is the map will zoom out enough to fit all the markers in uh, it's pretty handy if you don't know the zoom level that you want in the first place um, similar to the map we can set loads of options on markers so let's just do a example here um, again let's do an event uh, so let hello world so when we click on the marker now we should get an alert there we go and we can also do info windows sorry info window content um, I'm an info window refresh the right and then when we click on the map we get an info window again check the documentation for both the library and Google Maps API for all the options here there is loads of them that I simply don't have time to go into um, and that's pretty much it for today so we've set the map we've set up a marker or markers and we learn how to customize both the map and the markers um, that will do for today check back in the future for more and we'll go into a bit more detail cheers